Menus in Profoto are extremely powerful and flexible. Menu links are the individual link items on your site that take visitors to whatever content you choose. Menu structures are organized groups of these menu links. You can create as many menu links and menu structures as you'd like. While the appearance of your menus can be modified on a per-template basis, the menu links and structures themselves are independent of templates. That is to say, they are a design level setting and therefore can be found in the customizer after choosing design from the main design template toggle. The menu structure that you are editing is displayed at the top of the screen and can be changed via the drop down. Here you can also create, delete, or rename a menu structure. On the right hand pane of the screen is where individual menu link items can be created. From here they can be added to the menu structure itself which is displayed visually on the left. When you first visit this area, you will notice that several menu structures and menu items already exist. This is because all of the included and add-on designs for Profoto provide default menu structures and menu items. In fact, when you choose to customize a Profoto design, Step 3 of the Onboard Guide helps you link your existing WordPress pages or link new pages you create for any of the design's default menu items. If you want your own site to look exactly like the design demo, you can leave everything as it is and just edit any of the remaining menu links that you didn't edit during the onboarding process. Otherwise, you are free to modify the menu structures however you'd like by adding or deleting any menu items or menu structures that you want to. To create a new menu item, simply click the icon and choose from the link type that you'd like to use. Once you select the item you want to create, you will need to enter the link text, which is what will actually show on the site, make any other settings, and then click to create menu item. As soon as you do this, you'll see that this new menu item has automatically been added to the bottom of the menu structure you are working with, as well as the menu item library. And if you want to create menu links to pages or galleries in your site, Profoto provides an easier option for creating such links in this menu item library. Simply select the pages or galleries you want links to and click Add Selected to add them to your active menu structure. All menu items you create are stored in the menu item library and can be used in any menu structure. So if you want the same menu link to appear in different menu structures, you don't have to create additional copies of the same menu link. In the menu structure itself, you can reorder the menu items or nest menu items inside one another by simply clicking the handle and dragging. To delete an item, just click the icon. Adding a menu structure to your site is very easy. To do this, navigate to the layout editor of whatever template you are customizing. Click to add a widget, and in the pop-up, select the P6 menu widget. Once you do that, you can choose the menu structure you want to add how you want it to display, horizontally or vertically, and the alignment of the menu within the column it is being displayed. Create the widget and you are done. As you can see, the flexibility provided allows you to create multiple menu structures that you can add anywhere in the different templates of your design. For example, you could have a main horizontal menu displayed at the top of a static front page, while displaying a simpler vertical menu in a column alongside your posts on your blog page. Menu appearance is controlled at the template level, so first choose Template from the Design Template toggle, and then navigate to the Menu's Appearance area. Here you will see three tabs at the top, which allow you to modify the appearance of your mobile menu, which we will talk about in just a second, as well as your horizontal and vertical menus. Any changes made in this area will apply to any menu widgets that have been inserted into the layout of the specific template you have activated. We recommend you start by customizing the appearance of your menus in your base template, as this will affect the appearance of all menus in all of your templates. Then override any settings you need to for child templates as needed. The horizontal menu controls provided here allow you to select the font styles applied to menu link text, spacing between menu items, adding a divider image that will appear between menu items, and controlling the appearance of menu dropdowns. The vertical controls provided are similar. One item to note in the vertical menu options is the ability to have nested menu items collapsed into their parent menu item, or displayed by default. 
In addition to these template level settings, be aware that if you want fine grain control over a particular menu in a column, you can always click on that column's customization gear icon, and there you'll see the same horizontal or vertical appearance options depending on the menu type inserted into that column. It is rare that you should need to do anything with these settings, but they are available in case you want even more control. Because Profoto is fully responsive, one of the features it includes is a mobile menu. For ease of use on smaller mobile devices, Profoto will display a small menu icon, which the user can tap to display whatever menu structure you've chosen. The mobile menu is also controlled at the template level, so again, make sure that is selected in the toggle of the customizer. Then, go to the Menus mobile area. Here you can select which menu structure you want to use for your mobile menu, whether the mobile menu is always displayed or shown only on smaller devices, and the breakpoint at which it is shown, medium being mobile devices only, and large being mobile and tablet in portrait view. You can set which side of the screen you want the icon to appear on, and you can choose your own image or tile to be used for the mobile menu icon. Then, to modify the appearance of the mobile menu itself, just navigate to the Menus Appearance area and use the options there. One note about the mobile menu, if you'd like to hide any of your other menu widgets from showing when the mobile menu is displayed, all you need to do is click to edit the widget, and using the widget visibility settings, click on the device types where you want the menu widget hidden.